hello viewers welcome back my channel i am with a new video how to process the hsqc nmr with master nova software so here the software icon like you have to install this software and once you install this software then you can open the software and you have you have to have the um nmr files location so remember whatever the hsqc you want to open make sure that in of the same compound you have the 1d proton nmr and also 1d carbon nmr so first open the 1d proton nmr by clicking or dragging the fid file here so you will see the proton nmr opened and click right mouse and then go to the phase and do automatic so it will correct the automatic phase and also zoom this area and this is a S my solvent was acetone d6 so here you can uh, it is showing 2.06 so you can right mouse click and go to the reference and click on this peak and you can put 2.05 that is the acetone peak so click ok and then right mouse click again full screen and then now open the carbon nmr 1d carbon nmr of the same compound same as drag the fid file here and just make it bigger and then reference click reference and click on this peak because this carbon nmr carbon peak should be 206 point three then click ok and here the um, if you click Z or right uh, right mouse click and uh, click zoom in then you can do again so then this uh, acetone peak it should be 20 like middle one is 29 point nine seven so twenty nine point nine seven you can remember this peak now go to the animal location and open the hsqc so here for the hsqc or 2d nmr you will not see any fid file but you will see a cr file so click that ser and then just drag it in this area and you will see your 2d nmr opened so now before starting anything just you if you if you do the like scroll up or down so you'll see some this blue thing artifact so right mouse click and go to the face correction click automatic so it will do the automatic face corrections and also the um, so here if you zoom this area right mouse click reference then click on the center left left click so here you can put 2.05 while it is f2 like proton now click on this f1 here so f1 it will be like 29.97 so 20 9.97 and then click ok so now if you click here full so you will see uh, a reference solvent is like um, corrected so click zoom in like z and if you see this area like zooming this area so you will see definitely this peak with this center so that means this proton is connected with this specific carbon so this is for acetone so in you know must you must have known that 
the hsqc actually used to determine which proton is attached with which carbon so normally the types of carbon and proton can be determined by proton nmr 1d proton nmr 1d carbon nmr and also dept 135 or dept 90 and dept um, 45 so mostly with the 135 you can get some idea like ch2 peak will go down downward and ch and ch3 peaks will be up so by that way you can determine which carbon has ch which carbon have ch2 and after that you can get some idea which carbon is attached directly attached with which proton suppose there are two signal here if you zoom this area so you can get some idea so here if you see this proton straight line if you kind of draw a straight line and there is a contour plot this peak cross peak not cross peak you can say this peak is directly connected with this peak this proton peak so that means you can say this proton whatever the proton it is that is directly connected with this carbon and similarly the second carbon here is connecting with the next this proton so you can say this proton is actually connected with this carbon and if you go like here the aliphatic region is little complicated because my compound was complicated so if you want to see even some relation here so if i do zoom here and if you want to make more so here this proton specifically this signal is connected with this carbon like this proton is connected with this carbon similarly this second here the second carbon is connected with this uh, or actually it should be this it more likely this and this this third carbon is connected here and actually here there are lots of other things also because i know my compound it had some polymeric thing and for one specific carbon we had to do the um this hsqc for this polymeric mixture uh polymeric or oligomeric mixture because of this specific signal so which carbon of that signal and which proton so <coughs> uh, and also with the help of hmbc we determined some other properties but i know this could be like more complicated but the basic principle you know definitely the which carbon has a relation with the which proton that is like directly attached so here like for this example this carbon is directly attached with this proton whatever the proton here and say same way like this this carbon is directly attached with this proton whatever the whatever the signal here so this signal this signal so here here you can see like the blue lines so the blue lines is like this carbon versus this proton so i hope this will help um, you how to process the hsqc nmr with the mastronova software um, and next time i will bring more video and if you need any other help to process any other kinds of video please let me know in your comment section and thank you for watching my video and for supporting my channel i really appreciate thank you bye